free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below. Medicines and Vitamins for Pigeons It is important for everyone who decides to start breeding pigeons to know how the owner should take care of his bird. So, it is important to pay sufficient attention to nutrition, which will determine how strong the immunity of the flying postman will be, whether he can bear offspring. It will also be about such a question as vitamins for pigeons, you will learn what trace elements a bird needs and how to maintain its immunity at the highest level. The question regarding the treatment of pigeons will also be touched upon. You will know what medicines should be in the first aid kit for first aid until complete recovery. What medicines are needed for pigeons? Unfortunately, even with good care, pigeons can get sick. How do you know if a bird is sick? Feathered behavior changes dramatically, appetite worsens, feathers become untidy, disheveled. It is important not to self-medicate, but immediately seek qualified help. The first thing to do is to identify the sick pigeon in a separate cage in order to prevent the further spread of the infection. Next, we will consider specific preparations of vitamins for your pigeons, which are used to treat a particular disease. It is worth noting that the cause of the ailment can be either a virus or a bacterium, or poor bird care. Rules for the use of medicines for pigeons As mentioned earlier, the veterinarian should be involved in the treatment of pigeons, since only a professional can determine the cause of the disease and prescribe effective drug therapy how many grams per liter, what dosage is one hundredth of a honeycomb. It is also important to treat the pigeon exactly as much as needed, it will depend on how quickly the chick recovers. Pigeon breeders know that this bird can react violently to the wrong treatment if it is not completed. Medicines for pigeons and roflon for oral administration are diluted in water, sometimes stirring in food is allowed. However, it is worth saying that the pigeons do not delight in the feed with the drugs added to it, so it's worthwhile to hold the birds on a hungry diet for a while to give them an appetite. If a sick bird flatly refuses to eat a mash of medication, you can use sugar or sugar water as a basis and add chictonique argue. Or, inject the medicinal solution with a syringe, that is, by force. What medicines are needed to treat pigeons? Pigeons often get sick, are very susceptible to one or another bird disease. The causes of the onset of the disease can be viruses, bacteria, fungi or parasites. In one case or another, antibiotics, Antiparasitic or antiviral agents will be needed as therapy. Here is a list of drugs that are most often used during treatment of pigeons. Oxytetracycline Doxycycline Ciprofloxacin or enrofloxacin Batril based on metronidazole Poliodoxin Triflon, tetramisole, or tiamolin Tromexin or enromag Keprocerol Enrostin, enroflon Bacox Sorghum sulfate for pigeons. Pulsacerol or keprocerol. Trichopalum. Erythromycin and others. Now we will analyze how this or that medicine works, for which diseases of the pigeons they need to be taken, and how to choose the right dosage. Batril. Batril is an antibiotic used to treat diseases of the intestinal group, such as enteritis or colobacillus. Batril is produced in Russia, although batril can also be found under other trademarks, for example, batril extra. Take Batril strictly in accordance with the information specified in the instructions. From there you can find out what are the contraindications to the use of Batril, its side effects and, most importantly, how long the course of treatment with Batril lasts for pigeons. Of the benefits, you can cancel the fact that the effect of Batril manifests itself quite quickly, within a few days. Trichopal. Pigeons often suffer from trichomonolosis, it is for the treatment of this disease that trichopalum is used. As mentioned earlier, Birds are reluctant to peck food mixed with medicine, so trichopalum needs to be poured into the bird's beak on its own. In no case should you increase the dose of trichopalum, as this can cause death. Fosprinol. Fosprinol is an antiviral agent, it is often used to treat ailments such as orthomicrovirus, wiggle, Newcastle disease, and so on. It is worth saying that the only way to use fosprinol is by injections, it is pointless to give it with food. Dosage should be calculated based on the weight and age of the bird. The course of treatment is designed for 4-5 to five days. In addition to the fact that fosprinol is used to treat diseases, it is recommended to prick pigeons for prophylactic purposes, for example, when the pigeon lays eggs or when the period of molting begins, the arrival, and so on. The dose is determined individually by the veterinarian. The Effectiveness of Furazolidone 
furazolidone is used in cases where the pigeon is affected by colobacteria, coccidia or salmonella. The direct effect is on the digestive tract, where it is completely absorbed. Its effect can be compared to a drug like Batril. The prepared solution of furazolidone is not subject to long-term storage, therefore it must be consumed within two days, maximum three days. It is worth saying that furazolidone is one of the most popular medications, it is prescribed more often than others. This is because the cost of the drug is not high, and its availability is attractive. Enrofloxacin Enrofloxacin belongs to the group of antibiotics. It is characterized as a rapidly absorbed medicine that quickly brings relief to the pigeon's health. It is also worth noting that the drug enrofloxacin has no side effects, that is, it is absolutely safe for birds. What diseases are treated with enrofloxacin? These are mycoplasma, brachyspiriosis and other ailments, the development of which is caused by this or that disease-causing organism. Antiparasitis. If you find parasites on the body of a pigeon, or they have settled in the digestive tract of the bird, you need to immediately start antiparasitic therapy. Veterinarians usually prescribe the simplest drug called antiparasit or argue. Its advantages are the duration of exposure, complete safety and ease of use. The powder must be diluted with water and added to the pigeon in the proportion. 10 grams of sporovit or antiparasit powder per 1 liter of water. Group of universal drugs. There is a special group of medicines that are commonly called universal. They are used to prevent or stop the disease at the initial stage of its development. These are such preparations for pigeons as levamisole, peristop, pharmacin, enroxil, enrofloxacin, vladivac, sporovit or enroflon in the form of an aqueous solution. Timely use of the above drugs for the prevention of diseases in pigeons will keep their health under control and allow them to die from one or another disease. It is important to start a prophylactic course immediately after the first symptoms of malaise have been noticed, when the bird becomes restless, does not eat well or, conversely, prefers not to get up, stops flying, and so on. Vitamins for pigeons, do it yourself. Treatment of salmonellosis in pigeons. Salmonellosis is considered one of the most dangerous diseases, which in most cases lead to a massive drop in the number of birds. The danger of getting salmonellosis is not only threatened by poultry and other animals, but also by a person who is in close contact with the farm. The causative agent of salmonellosis is the bacterium salmonella, which can be picked up in various ways. As you know, the best treatment is prevention, for example, vaccinations, periodic disinfection of perches, premises and work equipment, but it also happens that, despite all the measures taken, the pigeon can still become infected and get sick. Find out what veterinary drugs will be needed to treat salmonellosis? The most effective is sulprim. The dose of its use must be calculated based on the weight and age of the bird. The advantage of this antibiotic is that it is quickly absorbed by the bird's body and acts almost immediately. However, for greater effectiveness, veterinarians prescribe two or three antibiotics at once, for example, batril and sulprim since salmonella is not always treatable. After the course of treatment is over, doctors recommend restorative therapy, which includes a course of taking vitamins or minerals. The course lasts exactly as long as indicated in the instructions. This can be gamavit, vitome or any other concentrated vitamins that are top dressing. A vitaminosis in pigeons. Like any living organisms, pigeons often suffer from vitamin deficiency, especially in spring or autumn. Young animals, that is, Newborn pigeons, also suffer from vitamin deficiency. We will find out in more detail how the behavior and appearance of a pigeon will change if there is a lack of one or another vitamin. Vitamin A Deficiency The pigeon does not gain weight well, physical development slows down, the condition is painful and weak. Conjunctivitis or anemia may develop. To prevent this condition, you need to add fish oil to your diet, as well as regular carrots and garlic. However, it is important not to overdo it and not bring the bird to hypovitaminosis, that is, an excess of vitamin A in the feed. Vitamin D Deficiency The first symptom of a lack of this vitamin is a violation of the bone structure of the bird. In addition, gait is disturbed, behavior becomes lethargic, feathers fall out, egg-laying rate falls. If you do not correct the nutrition in time, that is, fortify it, irreparable changes in the health of the pigeon may occur, it will become unsuitable for breeding and fall into the category of rejected. To make up for the lack of vitamin D, you need to enrich the food with fish oil, and also provide the dovecote with an ultraviolet lamp, which will serve as a natural source of vitamin D when walking is not possible. Lack of vitamin E In the case when the pigeon does not receive vitamin E, you can observe the following symptoms. General lethargy 
inactivity, disorders of the digestive tract. If vitamin deficiency is diagnosed in young animals, then a liquefaction of the brain appears. Involuntary twitching and convulsions appear. In order to prevent the development of these symptoms, prevention should come first and then already, it is necessary to ensure that the nutrition of pigeons is balanced and varied. The composition of the feed should include cereals, seeds, lactose, probiotics and vitamins. Methods of treatment of vitamin deficiency with medication. In addition to the fact that you can review the nutrition of pigeons, it is recommended to diversify it with the help of vitamin complexes. Most commonly used are aminovital or intestivit. In addition to the fact that intestivit and aminovital contain all the vitamins necessary for pigeons, it also contains vital trace elements and amino acids, zinc, iron, potassium, and so on. Recommended use strictly in accordance with the instructions. Chictonic. The composition is also diverse, its periodic use contributes to the fact that the pigeon's immunity will improve. Felucin or Albin. It is also a fairly common vitamin supplement. In addition to vitamins, gravel is added to the composition, which contributes to the fact that all food will be processed faster by the bird. Traditional methods of prevention. It is not necessary to carry out prophylaxis for pigeons only with the help of tablets and injections. Folk remedies have proven themselves quite well they are often used in poultry farming. Most often, this is propolis directly from honeycombs, or rather, a tincture based on it, which is similar in effect to the drug batril. To prepare it, you should use the following recipe. Ingredients. Propolis, 60 grams or ml. Alcohol, half a liter. It is required to mix both components and leave in a cool dark place for two to four days. As soon as the formation of sediment becomes noticeable, this will mean that the tincture is ready, and it can be given to pigeons. However, you must first strain it through a sieve to get rid of the wax sediment. The tincture is added to the drink, judging by the reviews, the pigeons drink it with pleasure. Also, in order to improve the health status of pigeons, you can use apple cider vinegar, tansy, an aqueous solution of iodinol, copper sulfate, and so on. Coccidiosis in Pigeons Coccidiosis is highly infectious and quite a common illness that infects the intestines of birds. It usually exists to some degree in all pigeons, but most adult birds produce sufficient immunity to the disease to continue to be healthy. Symptoms Signs of a coccidiosis infection in pigeons include Loss of appetite and weight loss Birds sit puffed up on perches with a lack of energy or motivation. Droppings are usually extremely loose, greenish in color, and may turn very watery. Death can occur in young birds. Coccidiosis droppings. Green droppings. Young pigeons are most typically infected, or birds that have been subjected to severe stress, i.e. racing, exhibiting, lack of food and water, or relocation. Adult birds may become contaminated from consuming unclean water or from coming into contact with moist droppings. What are coccidiosis? Any species of bird can be susceptible to the coccidian parasite, which can be found worldwide. Most species of coccidia have a direct life cycle. Non-infective oocysts, or eggs, are passed in the feces of infected birds into the environment. Here, they develop into an infective form, or a sporulated oocyst. A healthy bird can ingest this form from contaminated feed or water. The infective oocysts then invade the intestines of the bird, where they undergo several more stages of development until they become sexually mature parasites. These parasites then lay eggs, which are passed out with the feces. This life cycle is generally completed in a span of 1 to 2 weeks. Coccidiosis, also referred to as intestinal coccidiosis or coccidiasis, is caused by the protozoan parasite in the Imeridae family. While poultry, game birds, pigeons, and doves are most commonly affected, coccidia eggs have been found occasionally in parrots, canaries, finches, lorries, and budgerigars. This parasite usually invades part or all of the intestinal tract in birds, but has been found in other organs, such as the kidneys and liver. Symptoms of coccidiosis in birds. Symptoms of coccidiosis mainly involve the digestive system. As the coccidia replicate, the tissue damage that results can cause disruptions in normal digestive and absorption processes, as well as feeding habits. Rapid weight loss can occur, which can lead to severely ill birds that may become susceptible to other diseases and infections. Birds can also be infected without any visible symptoms. Signs can include Severe diarrhea that can be watery, bloody, or contain greenish mucus. Depression. Droopiness. Inactivity. Loss of appetite. Weight loss. Decreased thirst. 
Decreased growth rate in young birds. Decreased egg production. Ruffled feathers. Depigmentation or pale skin. Secondary infection from another infectious agent. Tremors. Convulsions. Lameness. Emaciation. Dehydration. Death. Types. There are two types of coccidiosis seen in birds. Coccidiosis refers to a parasitic infection that produces visible symptoms. Coccidiasis refers to an infection that is present without any symptoms. It is the most common form and is often diagnosed on post-mortem. Causes of coccidiosis in birds. Coccidiosis in birds is caused by an infection of the coccidia parasite. The coccidia oocysts are transmitted from bird to bird by ingestion of contaminated matter. This can occur from infected droppings, contaminated food or water, contaminated soil, dust, or litter, exposure to contaminated insects or animals, contamination through carriers, such as human handlers, equipment, or clothing. Both infected and recovering birds can shed oocysts in their droppings, even if they present no visible symptoms of an infection. The oocyst has a hard shell that allows it to survive in the environment for a long time, although they are not infective until they sporulate. This development into an infective stage generally takes one to two days after they are passed from the feces into the environment. Diagnosis of coccidiosis in birds. Diagnosis will take into consideration your bird's feed intake, visible symptoms, the appearance and health of any other birds in the population, and growth rates of younger birds, but is dependent on the presence of oocysts in your bird's feces. Oocysts can be detected through fecal examinations that include fecal smears and fecal flotations. Scrapings from the intestinal tract can also detect oocysts. Further testing can be conducted to determine the species of coccidia that is infecting your bird, and can include a PCR test. The presence of lesions, most commonly in the intestinal tract, can confirm a diagnosis of coccidiosis. Treatment of coccidiosis in birds. The treatment of coccidiosis will include drug administration to kill the parasites and oocysts, and measures to control transmission and reinfection. Drug administration. There are a range of anticoccidial drugs that can treat a coccidian invasion in many ways. Some drugs will arrest coccidia growth, while others may inhibit mitochondrial energy production. Amprolium can be used as an antagonist of thiamine, a vitamin needed by the coccidia. Folic acid antagonists and arsenic compounds can also be used. Your veterinarian will determine which drug is appropriate for your bird and the severity of the infection, and will notify you of the risks for that particular drug. Often, Medicine is given in water or feed for up to two weeks, and may need to be repeated. Resistance to drugs can occur, and your veterinarian may change the medication after so many weeks if your bird needs to be treated for a longer period of time. Feed may also be medicated continuously up to the first eight weeks of life to prevent an early infection which can be deadly. Antibiotics may be used to treat any secondary infections, and vitamins A and K may be administered to improve health and recovery. Immunity your bird may develop a natural immunity to coccidiosis during treatment. Immunity can also develop in response to a long-term infection. Older birds tend to be more resistant than younger ones, as they have usually been exposed to the parasite at a young age. Vaccines can be given that consist of live, sporulated oocysts, more often to very young birds to help develop this immunity, but a repeated exposure to the parasite is needed to continue the development of the immunity. Environment. While pet and captive birds can be treated, the infection is usually not eliminated and is only controlled. Measures need to be taken to prevent transmission of this parasite to other birds. While the oocysts are resistant to some disinfectants, they can be killed by extreme hot or cold temperatures. Birds can still shed oocysts after treatment and should be separated from healthy birds to reduce transmission. Cages should be cleaned and disinfected daily to remove any oocysts from your bird's environment. If you have many birds in your population, separating them, or dispersing them over a larger area can help to reduce the risk of spreading the parasite. Recovery of coccidiosis in birds. Your bird may develop an immunity to the coccidia parasite and can recover, though it may become reinfected. A severe infection can lead to a quick fatality. If your bird has survived a severe infection, recovery can occur within two weeks of treatment, but may result in permanent damage. Prevent this possibly fatal infection through good sanitation and environmental conditions. These can include adding anticoccidial drugs to feed during the first weeks of your bird's life, avoiding overcrowding your birds, providing good sanitation, ensuring there is always clean water and feed available, separating birds from droppings, 
administering vaccines, routinely cleaning cages or the aviary, frequently check droppings for oocysts, quarantining new birds until deemed healthy. free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below.